I don't know how. Oh. oh, excuse me. I don't know how long I was asleep, but it certainly must have been a long time. Still will never get tired of this room. Although it may look gray and bland. It's, it, it's, it's nice. It's a nice, cozy room. Big, black leather couches. It's nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop playing coy. Hello. I'm your host, NDG. In this video, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just kind of roaming around. Roaming around this world that I have created for around the, I would say, the past several months. It's a large world, certainly. Some of you on this channel may have seen other videos on it. I have no doubt. But, uh, I don't know. I just kind of want to explore it. See what's what is new between the last time you saw it even though this is the only first video i'm doing of it, where it's actually kind of like i don't want to say a tour but i guess tour is the closest word i can use and it's it's a it's a fun it's a fun little place on a um not supposedly to be set on Earth, however. Actually, it's supposed to be set on an original planet I call Vincarvis. Vincarvis is a fictional planet I created for um, the Unsettled Mind series that I'm actually working on. So, of course, there aren't... You, you could never... So for for that series, there's actually not going to be any spoilers in this. It's it, mainly that one room that I started in is really the only place that is closely related to the actual series. As for the rest of this, this entire building is what I imagine the initiate headquarters to be like. Of course, it could use some better looking rooms and whatnot here and there, no doubt, but it, it, it's, it's cozy, to say the least. It's a nice little place. You have nice, nice views of the outside. Here's the main rotunda where the entrance is actually down there. Of course, there is no door because my uh, my ability with redstone is not very good. So, if I were to do any form of a door, I would have to, I don't know, I'd have to learn it, certainly. And of course, you know, here is the the parking lot, I guess you could say. This place still is not done. It's still a work in progress. Like, for example, all around the trees, there's going to be wheat patches with pumpkins and blocks of, um, blocks of jungle leaves. But other than that, it's, um, it, it's, a, it's a nice little place. So far, there um, th th there's really not all that much to explore, except for the fact that it's mainly just scenic views at this point. I mean, there are um, the landing platforms, which are in the back, actually, which we're, we were close to in the beginning, but we'll get to that later. 
this I uh, this actual place is actually where initiates would come and they'd relax and get in touch with nature. This is basically like I guess you could say it's an ancient pool. It's been here for millennia on this planet. And of course, you know, others I mean the actual initiates themselves have you know, they've walked around the they've walked around this place many times. And and, and as time grew on, you can tell that the, uh, the grass eroded away, the grass, it, it died, creating these paths. And essentially, they built this little, this little area around this pool. And so, that's what happened. Of course, I can't do anything about the mobs. The mobs are just going to wander like they do. A, little, a nice little side path leading to the, um, to the other side of the, uh, what's the word? The, the back of the building, the landing pad. <laughs> That's the word. Over here is another little, I guess you could say garden area. Have a, a tree, and that's all over here. A, a little bench, a little bench that uh, people can come and rest on if they had just had a long day. Of course, over here is the cafeteria. We already went through that, and the rotunda was just on the other side. In the rotunda, there were also uh, stairs. But, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Over here, the, um, the kitchen is actually still being built. Still need to make, you know, um, you know, grills, uh, refrigerators, freezers, countertops, and all that jazz. <sighs> you know, just kitchen stuff. I'm not a cook, so I wouldn't know. I would know the ordinary things to put in the kitchen, but as for other things, like, well, I don't know, because I'm not a gourmet cook. I'm not a cook at all. This room, I guess, this room is actually a, uh, a room that I know in real life. Of course, it is actually built backwards. So instead, the door would over be over here. And uh, this closet, with a computer desk and a chest in the back, would actually be on this side, and it'd be vice versa. Well, yeah, that's the way that works. So that's fun. Um, There... As of right now, there is not a lot in the building itself. I mean, there is this place that we went through in the first in the um, the first couple of minutes of the video. This uh, this uh, like uh, workout workout area. So you have uh, these things. I forget the name of. Of course, you have some boxing bags. Other workout machinery and uh what are actually um what are technically supposed to be like yoga balls or something like that they're more of just yoga cubes because you know circles don't exist except for shadows shadows exist and that's about it this is going to be oh uh, shut up traitor um this is a what would you call it? It's it's a security room. So you have many numerous computers and whatnot for like security guards to work at during the night. Now, of course, since this is mainly a single player world, it's, it's, it's and not only like that, but this is not a role play world as of yet. So 
yeah, no one's uh, no one's a security guard. Could be though, but not yet. This is the entire building. Of course, you have the parking lot. A lot of this is untouched area as of right now. But uh, I won't show the top of the map until later because that, uh, that spoils actually some of the other stuff that's outside. However, some people may already know what's on the outside from the little glimpses that they've seen. <clears throat> this, of course, is like a little a storage area. You have two fridges over there, some crates, bookshelves, other stuff like that. Now let's, um... Oh, yeah, this is a, um, this is a vending machine and a, uh, water thing. I can't remember the name of it. Two fridges, a microwave, yeah, just, you know, stuff. Over here is, I guess you could say, a somewhat resemblance of a kitchen. You have your shelves up here where you keep all your, you know, your cookbooks and your, uh, your cans of food and boxes and whatnot. This, of course, is a giant pizza oven, or just a giant furnace in general. Two fridges, some cutting boards, some pots and whatnot. More shelving. Yeah, it's a simple little kitchen. Could be better, could look better. Another storage unit, another storage area with a lift, which actually leads to the second story. So that's fun. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I believe, come to that, come to go to that staircase in a second. Here is actually a little hallway, which you may have noticed this earlier. This giant hole in the wall. This actually has to do with the story of Unsettled Minds. However, is never seen in the actual show, but is mentioned but not directly not directly mentioned this room is also still unfinished along with this place which uh, really also is not finished it may look finished but it actually is going to change relatively soon because something some things have changed this is supposed to be like a generator, like a power generator, but honestly, I don't know what it is. I just kind of built it while my mind was wandering one day. No, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of sitting there in that room. Anyway, that was the first floor. Wow, we can go to the second floor. Which, in my up shush, you stupid ladder. Um, the second floor is immediately much better, in my opinion. What the fudge? Anyway, this is, this is like, I guess you could say the living quarters. Where you have a giant TV here. You have very interesting, um, carpet. Very large carpets, too. Some bookshelves with some lanterns, leaves, and all that type of stuff. Um many many things a dresser and a grandfather clock which in my personal opinion i really really love i really like that um a nice view of the um nice view of the uh the, 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 the pool of course you have this excuse me then you have this overhang it's a very nice place. This leads to the staircases that we saw here in the rotunda earlier. Uh, let's see. Down here are actually some bathrooms. One for women and one for men. Yeah, so you have um, an air dryer. You have your mirror with the uh, multitude of sinks. And of course, both bathrooms contain the same, like, restroom layout. 
So you have the toilet, and then you have, um, you know, the, the, the thing as your, your thing. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. So yeah, both the men and the women bathroom are the exact same layout. <clears throat> Down here is actually, I guess you could say, uh, it's like a, it's 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 a, a sleeping quarters for uh, most of the initiates, but not all of them. More mainly like the um, the apprentices and uh, the ones that are still in learning and whatnot. Either that or for just, you know, people who work at the building. Over here is the infirmary. So you have these tanks. They're similar to Bacta tanks, but I don't know what the liquid should be called. I still haven't figured that out, but they're essentially, they're Bacta tanks for now, but... They're not, it's probably not going to be backed up. And it's, you know, all this stuff on the side. You know, controls, wires, all that jazz. Then you have some beds over here for the patients who are recovering or are still sick and are just, you know, sitting there. Yeah. And then over here you have the main council room where you have, of course, you have Sir Cluckles over here who just well miss cluckles i'm so sorry uh but yeah it, it, it's just a nice little room so you know the grand master would sit up here and of course you'd have the other like master initiates over here who are on the council you know now that i'm talking i'm just now realizing that Everyone who's going to be watching this video has no idea what I'm talking about, but I guess all will be explained in the future. That's all I can say. Um, here is um, another, the, the, the other storage room where, um, you know, the lift was. So if we went down here, we'd be down here. And of course, you have these. A lot of windows. Don't want to make it feel any claustrophobic. And then of course, we come through here, and then we're back out here. And that is essentially, you know, the, the entire... That's essentially the entire building. There are some other things, but I'm not going to show those. Mainly because they're either not finished, finished or they would spoil the story. But now, I think it's time to go out and see the landing platform. Out here we have the the uh, the the many ships that are not technically in the Unsettled Mind universe, but are just here for show, and I just like having them here. So the first one, which I re recently finished is actually the Slave 1. All of these ships are... These... Okay. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All of them are from Star Wars. This one... I'll get to you later. But yeah. This is the... Uh, this is the Slave 1. But, um... It's loosely... It's a, it's a, a lot of this, like, design is um, inspired from a... Minecraft builder in the name of Gyps, who actually built a slave one, which is actually much smaller than this. However, the um, the design inspiration is is is, is loosely based, ma mainly based off of his his work. So I'll link that in the description of this video if you want to go check that out. This X-Wing is actually also by Gyps, so... Yes. I'm just going to link his channel in the description, because he's a fantastic builder. I will not, I, I, I will admit, he's a pretty, pretty good man. 
pretty good. And this is his X-Wing, man. It's a, uh, it's a work of art, to say the least. Over here is, um, the Razor Crest, which, um, spoilers for Mandalorian Season 2. If you have not seen it, what are you doing? Go watch it, if you can. But, if you don't want spoilers, then I will be, I will say, uh, click off this video now. <laughs> because I will be talking about spoilers, because, you know, as of recording this, it is... Oh, what is it? December 15th, 2020? That sounds right. December 15th, 2020, 727 p.m. So, uh, yeah. It's chap chapter 8 of Season 2 is coming out soon. So, if you haven't seen Season 2 or Season 1, I'd recommend you get on that immediately. But, yeah. I will say this. Spoiler. I don't think Mando's gonna be using this, the uh, Razor Crest anymore. The fact that I built it just makes me sad. Because it, it's no longer... It's it's in a whole bunch of just, you know, ash, rubble. All that jazz just got blown to smithereens. And that was the last of it. You know... Of course, the interior of this, I, uh, I, this back part is mainly, like, you know, what my own interpretation of what I think it would look like. So, you know, you'd have bunks here, you'd have, like, a table here, I don't know. And then, of course, you'd have the hyperdrive in the back with material and, you know, jazz and whatnot. And then you have the main cockpit where Din... Din would sit here, Grogu would be sitting right here in the back. All that good jazz. <sighs> yeah. But then again, since the Mandalorian now is riding with Boba Fett, you know, the interior of the Slave One is a tricky beast. The fact, it's, it's a tr- Ugh, I don't even want to get started on it. It's- convoluted because it's pre it's basically bigger on the inside but then again minecraft dimensions are tricky this is the not so completed interior of the millennium falcon <laughs> oh this falcon is going to be tricky as well so you have the interior here you can sit here you have uh your entire view is just completely shambolized because you cannot see out that front. <laughs> yeah, this Falcon is going to be difficult to uh, to work with. Particularly the interior. The exterior is all finished. If you could not tell. But yeah, I'll do some uh, some flyovers of this place. But yeah, it, it, it's it's a it's a it's I like it. It's nice. This is mainly like before the radar dish got, uh, you know, got demolished. Uh, it, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice thing. Of course, I do have to say, I really love this model of the Slave One. I, the, the Slave One is my favorite ship, to be honest. To be completely honest with you, it's just <sighs> okay. And now we finally come to this. This thing has been in the works for a long time, and is honestly going to be a lot. It's going to be tricky. I'm not sure how much longer I can record because for some reason, uh. The recording software for a PS4 likes to stop at an inconvenient time dependent. I, I, I don't know. And that is why I stopped and began recording again. Wow, the magic of technology. Okay, here we go. This is a, you know, 
police public call box. What, what, what could be so confusing? Oh, it's bigger on the inside. Yeah, this is a TARDIS. Time and relative dimension in space. It's, uh... This thing is big. You guys have probably already seen so many... Well, the three videos that I've done about it. Nothing has changed about it, which is the sad thing about this entire sh debacle. Like, there's nothing new, because I have not had time, oh my gosh. There is nothing new. Um, the copper interior is still my favorite, after so long. I, I just love it. It will forever be my favorite, especially the web wall. I think it's the best web wall design that I've ever made. Just being straight honest. <clears throat> excuse me. <sighs> oh, excuse me. My sincere apologies. Along with this um, crystalline interior, I really like this. Of course, then again, the use of honey is a little odd, especially when you're thinking of crystal. Like, you wouldn't think of um, the honey block being used in something crystal, but then again, it's mainly about the look, not the actual feel. But then again, you can't feel anything in this game. Can't feel a lot. And this place is big. You might as well... Don't, well, mm, I don't know. And again, those previous videos that I did of the... Uh, of those TARDIS quote-unquote reviews. I don't even know if you can call them good videos, mainly because there is no talking or no music during the entire thing. And it's this pure dead silence, and all you have to work is with visual effects, and that's about it. It is insanely dark, and I have no clue why. But, you know what? I don't want to deal with it. It works, it looks good, there's a lot of stuff, it's, it's, it's a nice place, it, and it works. I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go to the eye of the, the place, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I'm just kind of recording mainly because I'm bored. But I guess I could go back. Alright, let's go. Whoosh. Squoosh. Thank you. I appreciate you, door. I appreciate you, command blocks, because that's about the only thing I know how to do correctly. <laughs> oh. I actually guess we can go look at that map, considering the fact that you guys have actually now seen the... Shh, shh, shh. Where are you? I hear you. Where the hell are you? Huh? 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 I, f I don't care. Okay, just don't. I'm just not gonna pay attention to it. But yeah, this is. Oh right, I forgot that exists. Forgot. Okay. Well, there's one more thing I have to show you before I end this video. Obviously, the beautiful scenery, the, the, the many, many ponds, the pools of water, and of course... Excuse me? The heck was that? Okay. I feel like I'm being haunted, but there's no time for being haunted. Oh my god. Do I want to try and climb up there? I'm gonna try and climb up there. Let's go over here. This is gonna be a fun trek up the mountain. Of course, then again, why am I going this way if I have to go to the left? Or, if I'm going east, why do I... Oh, God. You can never talk straight, especially when I'm focusing on two different things. The fact that I've been able to do this video is impressive even to me. I can't multitask for the life of me. Uh, here we go. 
Lots of tall grass. Can't see where I'm going. Fantastic. I like that. And it's going. It's going, bro. Just going. Gunning it, man. All right, here we are. I have a cave up there. I guess I could try and trek up there. I don't know how I'm going to trek up there. Um, that's going to be... Oh, swim up the water. Oh, boy. All right. For those of you who don't know what I'm approaching, um, well, I'm sorry. If you do know what I'm approaching, well then, good on you. You know, you know, uh, the, the past. You know the past very well. Sadly, there is no noise for it, but, um, I'm just gonna pretend, uh, you know, one... Two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. And look at that. Look at that. A working stargate. Would you look at that? I can't go anywhere with this. It's so sad. But hey, it exists. It's a, it is this. It lights up. It's, it's very nice to have. <sighs> it's a nice place. It's a nice place, especially with the use of, um, pickles. It's, it's, I don't know. This is just, you know, planet of Incarvis for you. None of this, if this were actually filmed in real life, a lot of these things would actually not be here because this place does not exist in real life. It is a fictional planet. But I'm sure with the help of a volume or something like that, that would be... Ooh. Dude. I could... If I could... If... if oh, man. Where am I going? I'm just gonna fall. Wow! Ow! My my neck legs. My neck legs are broken. I'm upset. Um. But yeah, that's uh an overview of Incarvis. So far, still is yet to be completed. And of course, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to be coming. I have no doubt. I mean, still have to do the rest of this grass over here. Have to put some trees up there. Along those plateaus. Add a bit more snow on top of the mountains in the, um, in the, uh, in the distance. Like, maybe up there. Or maybe not. I don't think that's high enough to reach that kind of height, but, you know, I don't know, this place is just, it's a, it's a nice place to be, so, um, yeah, I guess this was kind of like an unintentional ASMR from some, for some people, I feel like, I don't know, possibly, I don't know if my voice was soothing enough, if it was, well then, Dude, heck yeah. I accomplished my goal without even knowing it. <laughs> what goal is that? Well, you have to figure that you're for yourself. You have to figure fit. <sighs> I can't word speak English right now. But, yeah, the sun's coming up. It's still raining. And, um, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.